All right, so here is the new pulley we're putting on. That's the old pulley, the 3.5. This is the new one we're putting on, the 3.25 pulley. You can kind of see definitely a size comparison. Not a huge, huge difference, but it's gonna make a, I think at least another pound of boost, maybe a little bit more, we will see. Mopar fam, I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today we are in Project Storm and we have a laptop and HP tuners and we're doing some logging. Uh, today we are planning on going down in pulley sizes. We're going to put a smaller pulley on Project Storm and uh, try to turn things up a little bit more on this truck. Uh, we're currently running the 3.5 pulley and we are going to be trying out the 3.25 pulley today and see uh, how much uh, pickup we get as far as boost. Uh, we should gain at least a pound, maybe two pounds, uh, give or take, on the pulley swap. So we're going to check out the data log. We're going to find out what we get. So this first log is going to be on the current setup on the 3.5 pulley. Um, and we're going to do everything same day so we can get the exact comparison and uh, try to figure out exactly how much boost difference we're going to see, um, especially on this hot day. It is pretty toasty out here today. Again, we're going to make a pass real quick here on the old test strip, see where we're at. So here we go. We got the laptop going and we're just going to make a couple of little pulls and uh, see what kind of boost we're making today on this nice little hot summer day. And then swap pulleys and see what we can pick up uh, with a pulley swap. All right, so I'm gonna try to look at the boost gauge here. And then when we get back to the fort, we will look at the data and see actual exact boost numbers per the data log. Um, but I'm just going to kind of read off what I see on the boost gauge when we make this little pass right here. Hopefully it doesn't spin. We're in two-wheel drive. And uh, we really don't care about the takeoff too much. We just want to see what we can make max boost-wise. Alright, here we go. So we made the one little pull and from what I could see on the boost gauge it looked like we were making about six pounds of boost um, we'll see what the actual data log tells us but it looked like around six pounds of boost again it's hot summer day um, so boost is not gonna be the best out here right now anyway winter time can make a big difference in uh, your boost numbers for sure um, but it looked like around six pounds. We will check out the data log, see where we're at. Stay tight. All right, so we're back here at the fort. This is old Project Storm. Torch Storm Supercharger. That pass or that log that we're going to look at here in a minute. That was on the 3.5 pulley. Holly High Ram Manifold. And we have an air-to-air -air intercooler on the truck. Along with water meth injection. 
and uh that is uh that's it for anybody that's just chiming in that hasn't seen any of the old videos um tons of videos on this truck of everything we've done to it so if you haven't been caught up check out the old videos and we're gonna go in we're gonna go into the old fort and go check out this data log all right so again it's summer um about 85 degrees outside roughly and per the uh data log let's go down here all right so the bp barometric pressure uh per that log we were at 14.8 psi barometric pressure uh, which is pretty spot on i mean the average is supposed to be 14.9 so we're going to do the math and uh, subtract that from our max intake manifold pressure, uh, which is going to be right here, intake manifold absolute PSI. So let's go through our log, find the highest point that we had, and uh, see where we're at. kind of looks like we're holding up. Oh, there we go. So we went to 21.3, and that was right around 6,000 rpm almost as you can see up here 59.47 so 21.3 i think 21.3 is going to be our highest let me run through here real quick and make sure yep it's looking 21.2 21.8 so we hit 21.8 21.8 and that's going to be our peak yep so 21.8 at about 6,000 rpm so ryan's going to do the math seven pounds okay so boost gauge from what i could tell granted i'm trying to read it in the passenger seat so it's kind of hard to see it but we made seven pounds of boost on the 3.5 pulley um in today's heat not bad um with an air-to-air -air intercooler so seven pounds so now what we're going to do we're going to remove this pulley and we're going to put on the 3.25 pulley it's a little bit smaller and go do the same exact log on the same road uh same temperature outside and uh see what we get i'm thinking we should gain at least another pound maybe two pounds give or take we'll see um Obviously, some tuning may need to be done after doing this pulley swap, so we're going to definitely watch the AFR gauge and see if we're still, um, you know, safe enough to be able to run it all the way out. Um, so hopefully we are. The truck is definitely a little bit on the rich side, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, but yeah, if the 3.25 can get us kind of where we're wanting to be, that'll be great. Um, we're kind of wanting to be about eight, you know, eight to nine pounds of boost would be perfect because before we put the air to air intercooler on the truck and we were only running the water meth, um, that truck would make nine pounds, almost 10 pounds of boost on that 3.5 pulley, which was pretty crazy. Um, uh, but since we did add the intercooler and all the extra piping, um, obviously that takes a lot more, um, volume out of the compressor to fill all the pipes and everything. So boost has dropped a little bit. Um, but the truck is still running great. It's making good power. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's swap pulleys and go make another test run. All right, so here is the new pulley we're putting on. That's the old pulley, the 3.5. This is the new one we're putting on, the 3.25 pulley. You can kind of see definitely a size comparison. Not a huge, huge difference, but it's going to make a... I think at least another pound of boost maybe a little bit more we will see uh we made seven pounds let's see if we can make uh maybe eight or eight and a half so we're gonna get this thing put on go back out do another log all right mopar fam so we are ready to go we got the 3.25 pulley installed everything's locked and loaded we're gonna get back in the truck get the laptop hp tuners we're gonna do data log and see if we can get eight or eight and a half pounds of boost let's go all right 3.25 pulley we are in storm 
we're about to do the second log on the new pulley and see see where we're at then we'll go back and we'll look at the data and see what the math tells us baby I'm gonna say eight nine pounds it was in between the five and the ten mark on the boost gauge and before it barely went past the five and I was saying six so boost gauge shows dead middle between five and ten so I'm gonna say eight nine pounds we want to go back let's go check time. out the uh, data see what it says all right, Mopar fan, we're back here at the computer, HP tuners. And as you can see, our BP barometric pressure is still the same as it was on the last log. It's 14.8. Um, and we made a max intake manifold pressure of 24.1. So if you subtract the 14.8, we made 9.3 pounds of boost. Um, the last log on the 3.5 pulley, we made 7 pounds flat. So we gained 2.3 pounds on that little bit of pulley change. That's tremendous. So two more pounds, that's probably, I don't know, I would say that's that's probably good for maybe 40 or 50 wheel power, I would think, somewhere in there. So truck should be definitely a little quicker on the track. Um, AFR gauge actually was like dead on. Um, it ran good, sounded good. Um, so we're gonna send a log to uh, Flying Ryan, FRP, see if he can squeeze anything else out of it with this log and the new pulley. So there you go, a little bit of pulley makes a pretty big difference as you can see. And uh, hell yeah, we're excited. Um, so storm last time out on that 3.5 pulley, we were running mid 13s in, uh, you know, summertime air like right now is hot, humid, nasty um the truck ran pretty good um so on this pulley i'm kind of thinking we should be a little you know really deep low 13s probably somewhere in there and uh winter time air easily should be able to get into the 12s so hell yeah there you go uh there's the differences between those two pulleys on this truck so stay tuned for more content don't forget give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think and we'll see you guys on the next one